Okay, in this topic, we're just doing like a really simple solving an absolute value equation. Um, you want to get the absolute value all by itself, just like when you're solving for a variable. So because in this example, they were adding 14, we want to subtract 14. Once we have the absolute value by itself, we look for two numbers that are um, four units away from zero. So there's um, sometimes going to be two answers. So we'll have negative four and four are both four, four units away from zero. And you can check your answer by plugging um, what you get back in to see if it works. So see how they plugged in the four and the negative four, and then the absolute value will be a positive four. And when you add 14, you'll get 18. Okay, so let's look at this example is, um, here, we'll write it down. We have um, negative two times the absolute value of V equals 18. So we can divide both sides by negative two. So we're just trying to get rid of that negative two. So the absolute value of V is um, all by itself. 18 divided by a negative number is negative nine. When you have the absolute value, it's, it um, is distance away from zero and you can't have a negative distance. So there's no solution to this. If you ever get this where you have the absolute value um, is equal to a negative number, then you just put no solution. Okay, we'll try um, another one. <clears throat> We have four times the absolute value of x equals zero. When you divide both sides by four, zero divided by anything is just zero. When you have the absolute value um, equal to zero, there's only one number that is zero units away from zero and that is zero itself. So the answer would be zero. We're not gonna have two solutions in this case. We'll just have one. Okay, one more example. Um, we have V, the absolute value of V plus eight equals 17. And this is kind of like the um, example that they give us. We want to subtract eight and get the absolute value of V equals nine. So V has to be nine and negative nine. There's going to be two answers for this one. because both of those numbers are nine units away from zero and our absolute value is nine. So we need to have both of them. Okay, that's the end of, of the lesson.